Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at fixing broken menu commands. Okay, these are the menu commands I'm talking about. Let's have a look. If you have an image in, in the timeline and you right click and you choose edit in Photoshop, or over here in the project panel, same thing, edit in Photoshop, or in the timeline, replace with After Effects composition. So if you have tried those commands and they didn't work, I'm gonna talk about a couple of fixes, and then at the end, a shocking fix, uh, for me anyway, that uh, you might not know about. So first of all, I didn't guess about this. I called my buddy uh, who's an engineer at Adobe, Mitch. Uh, we used to work together when I worked at Adobe and wanted to go over a couple of these things and make sure that I wasn't missing anything. So the first thing is, and this might seem odd, you have to make sure that the other applications are installed. You know, that that's a pretty simple one. It, it might seem kind of odd to some people, but yes, tech support does get calls like that and they want to send to Photoshop. They don't even have Photoshop installed. So uh, send to Photoshop. Uh, you, you have to have Photoshop. If you're sending to After Effects, you have to have those installed. Another reason why is the Photoshop one won't work is the file itself is not compatible with Photoshop. So Photoshop will accept tons of image formats, some video formats, uh, but people are primarily sending images, but there could be a format that it just doesn't support. Now there could be mismatched versions. And what that means is that you don't have the correct versions installed. When you use the regular Creative Cloud installer, that's the desktop application, and you just choose install and or update, and you just run everything through there, it does install the correct versions. They have to be compatible. So when people, when Adobe updates Premiere Pro, it expects a certain version of Photoshop and a set, certain version of After Effects, and they all communicate. Um, if you do have all of the right things installed and it still doesn't work, that could be because the application isn't registered. And this isn't something you can control in preferences. It's what happens when you install Creative Cloud. When Photoshop gets installed, it gets registered as an available application to Premiere Pro. And this is a background thing, like I said, you have no control over to, to change or select. So what Mitch said you can do is you can uninstall Photoshop, reinstall it, and sometimes that will register it again. So now Premiere Pro knows where it is and how to send things to it. Um, if you, ins if and this Mitch was also saying, if you insist that they're matched and they're, they're registered, you can try um, deleting your preferences. So hold down Alt and uh, Shift on Windows or Option and Shift on Mac when you boot Premiere Pro and it will remove the preferences. And sometimes that will re-register or reconnect things together. So those are the only things that are known of to fix this. So if you're looking for a magic solution and none of those work, you can still get the job done. And this is one that I really, really want to stress. If you want the interaction to happen between Premiere Pro and Photoshop or Premiere Pro and After Effects, and it's not, you can still get the job done just by going to those applications and importing. So let me show you how it's supposed to work. And then let me show you what to do when it doesn't work. So here is a bunch of images and I want to send these to uh, Photoshop. So right click, edit in Photoshop. I already have Photoshop running, so it launches, opens, boom, there we go. Now anything I do to this flattened file will update in uh, Premiere Pro. If I add a layer in here, it's no longer a JPEG or a ping, it's now a PSD, that's a new file you have to now import that new PSD to get it to work. If this is saved as a PSD, then you can freely add and remove layers and it will update. So let's imagine this doesn't work. So how do I get that image into Photoshop? Well, you can right click on that 
And you can reveal on Windows in Explorer on the Mac, you can reveal it in the Finder. There's the image right there. From here, we can jump to Photoshop, drag that into Photoshop. Same thing, the connection between, this doesn't have to do with the registered version of Photoshop. Premiere Pro is running, Photoshop is running, they're communicating with a file on the disk. So when that file gets a, a new save, because you have to save from Photoshop, then Premiere Pro will see that as an, an update and, and update it. So we've done the exact same thing as that menu command that's broken. We just had to do it manually. Let's look at After Effects, same thing. We've got a video here. And if I right click, I can replace this with an After Effects composition. And if it runs, Great, if it doesn't, then we just look for that file, reveal that in Explorer. Same thing, there's the video right there. So let's go to After Effects and I'll drag that into here. Now, there's still a video in the timeline in Premiere Pro. We have to get this comp into Premiere Pro, but at least we can work. So I could take this, this video, let's say I wanted to tint this with Tritone. I drop it on there. I love Tritone, drop it on there. Let's get something other than that ugly sepia garbage there. And maybe a little less saturated. Click, okay. Now save, and when I save this, I'm saving the, the same thing that Premiere Pro would do. So tint water. And this is, I'm going to throw it in my test folder. Okay. Back in Premiere Pro. So let me drag that in. There it is. Click OK. Now, the one thing that this doesn't do is it doesn't preserve the in and out point that I, I originally had. So that is one issue. But the two are now connected. So there's my After Effects. I can disable this one. That's my After Effects comp. So if I go back to After Effects and change this to a different color, I didn't even have to save. This is Dynamic Link working in the background. So I got around that, okay? So Try to re-register, make sure you have the latest versions, and if all else fails, you can at least get the work done. Now let's talk about the shocking thing that Colin says that could be uh, happening. And uh, for that, I'm just going to launch my browser. I'll put a link to this in the description, but this is Adobe Genuine Service. This was a huge surprise to me because I always use the legitimately installed Adobe software. You might think you have legitimate Adobe software. You actually paid for it and purchased it from another company that isn't Adobe. That's not the right software. That software has been changed. Um, and that change, that hack, that pirate uh, version it is broken. So it, if you think it's not working right and it's Adobe's fault because they broke the software, the well, it might be the company you bought it from broke the software when they engineered it uh, behind the back and they broke the software. So I'll put this um, in the description, but it, it talks about how your software connects back to the Adobe servers. This is how you know as a, a, a Adobe customer that you have value to what you've purchased. You've got the real thing, you're connecting to the Adobe servers, they're authorizing it, and you can see up here on the right, that's me, there's my Creative Cloud license, and that includes 62 apps and services um, and all of that. So if you're installing through the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop and you're connected to your account through adobe.com, your Creative Cloud account, then you have valid software. If you, you're unsure, go to this link, find out more information, and uh, maybe you can get a refund from where you bought that and uh, put the real stuff in there. So those are the only things that you can do to try to fix this. Um, if the menu command doesn't work, like I just showed you, you can still get around that by using uh, just a regular install. Because back in the day, before that open in Photoshop and send to After Effects, we all used to do this manually. This was 
just a convenience that Adobe added uh, years later just to make it easy to send stuff back and forth. Sometimes it's broken. I can't say it's ever broken for me. It's always worked. Uh, try these few things if it's broken for you and uh, check your software because you never know. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly like our wonderful donors. We do appreciate you. And there's some uh, stuff on the member site. There's a bunch of free stuff you can download and support us here. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to alert you to something that I didn't even know with the not genuine Adobe software, but also give you some tips that when you're you're in a crunch and you got to get something out, you can still work even though the menu commands don't.